Hi there, James here at Inspire Group Asia, and for once I'm actually in KL, where I spend quite a lot of time now, catching up with, in fact, our first ever client up here in Malaysia, Dual Payment Tech, a really great, fast-growing payments tech company based here in KL, but also Singapore. Catching up with their HR director, Ivana, to find out how's the journey been working with Inspire Asia, but also, crucially, the learners and leaders themselves. What difference has the program made to them, the Inspiring to Lead program, which they're midway through now, how has it impacted them at work, but also in every area of their life? And what are they looking forward to next from that journey as well? Let's find out. So I'm actually now with um, a very important person in this whole process. Okay, so Ivana, the HR director here at uh, Dual Payment Tech. And I'm, and I'm actually thinking back to last November um, when we first met and you know it was great to be able to meet with you and I think sometimes timing is everything you know we'd been we were new to KL we were offering a new set of programs and you wanted to to catch up and talk about that so why was it that you even wanted to, to chat to Inspire? I think it all started when you sent me that little booklet uh, about Inspire to Lead. What I found from the contents was that it was super simple straightforward and it it felt um, the message came through straight to the heart. Mm. Um, it talks about you know the the focus or the emphasis to first lead yourself, and therefore leading others, and that is essentially what leadership is all about. Leadership doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a, something that is given by title. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who is you know just fresh off university or has just joined a company could be a leader mm. and has the potential to be the leader. But first, you need to focus on how you need to lead yourself. Mm. Therefore, that mindset uh, of leadership was something that I found lacking mm. uh, in the workplace environment, mm. as well as um, in the learning and development space as well, in terms of a solution. Mm. But we'll talk about that later on. We certainly will. So timing was good. The timing was good when we first met. And let me ask you a little bit, because we're halfway through, mm. or over halfway through, doing inspiring to lead with you guys now, both yeah. here and in Singapore. How's it been so far working with Inspire now? Be completely honest. Okay. Um, it's a learning process. Uh, <laughs> I was actually very excited because I think both of us are in that learning journey mm. together. Um, I appreciate the fact that there was feedback and uh, you know, constantly asking where can we do better. Mm. That gives me the opportunity to fine tune how delivery methods are being delivered the next round and mm. the next next mm -hmm. round. That feels less, um, less curated, mm, you know, where yeah. it, everything's just shipped out in a box. Good. But rather, um, I feel that that little bit of care and attention where you come and want to do something that really makes an impact rather than just delivering a module because you're paid to do so. Um, and I appreciate that, that level of investment uh, to want to make this work for us. Mm -hmm. And that I become the you know biggest benefactor of yeah, this whole yeah. initiative. Well, I really appreciate that. But there's another side to it as well, yeah. because of course not only did you engage us to come here, but you've been a learner. You've been on this process yourself. Yes. So you've been through the mindset program. You've been through the coaching program. You're about to do emerging to lead as well later yeah. in the year. Um, how's that been for you as a, a learner and a leader? How's that impacted you? It's definitely created a higher level of self awareness. In the past, you know, I've very, I've been very familiar that you know you need to push through your safe uh, comfort zone and go through your learning zone. Mm. But more often than not, I have also allowed myself to slip back into my old habits of keeping myself in the safe zone. But after having gone through mindset to lead, one of the first things that um, have woken me up is to realize when I'm actually in the comfort zone again. Mm -hmm and then tell myself that it's time for me to push myself forward. Uh, I especially appreciated that little um, activity in Mindset to Lead where you gave us a, a way to see things from a different perspective. Yeah. What would your grandparents say? Mm -hmm. Or what would your mentor say? Or what would Brilliant. your bad man say? <laughs> right. And suddenly it feels like, so empowering mm -hmm. for you to realize that actually whatever challenges that you're dealing with at the point of time where you can't possibly see a way out mm -hmm. and would rather just slip back and you know, be comfortable and avoid 
things, it certainly gave you a, a little nudge or additional motivation to say, actually, it's not that bad. Mm. And suddenly, from out of nowhere, you get that little courage to take that little step forward. Perfect. And once that challenge is overcome, now looking back in retrospect, it wasn't that bad after all. So whatever that I once feared, mm. doesn't scare me that much. Mm.